Welcome back. As any movie lover will tell you, some of the worst films Hollywood has ever produced have been sequels. And just like a bad movie, Polio has its own sequel. It's called PPS, post-polio sequela, or sometimes post-polio syndrome. First diagnosed in the 1980s, it's not a return of the polio virus itself. Rather, it's a gradual wearing out of the body parts affected by polio decades ago. For those who lived through polio once and thought they were done with it, the return of their old symptoms can be physically and psychologically devastating. Everything was pretty normal until about 10, 12 years ago. And then I just started running out of gas. These days, Faye Baker of suburban Baltimore has to use a power scooter to get around if she's going to be out for very long. She thought she was done with polio decades ago. You know, here I've been living this normal life and now all of a sudden I have to walk with crutch and I have to use a scooter and it doesn't seem quite fair. And when I let myself feel really sorry for myself, you know, that's... It's like, you know, why should people that have already had to go through this once have to go through it again? The first idea people had was that it was a resurgence or the polio virus had been latent in their bodies and now was re reappearing. That was soon discounted. Some people referred to it as being twice cursed or what's called the polio echo. Dr. Laurel Halstead of the National Rehabilitation Hospital in Washington, D.C. is both an expert and a post-polio patient. Acute polio is caused by a virus, uh, typically ingested in the mouth through contaminated food or water. And eventually, the virus in some individuals makes its way to the nervous system, where it uh, attacks and kills certain nerves, specifically the nerves that supply muscles. The remaining nerves, the healthy nerves that have picked up the work of those that were killed are now doing this sort of uh, yeoman's labor of supplying the chemical stimulus to many, many muscles that they weren't designed to, to uh, stimulate. And after a period of 30, 40, or 50 years, these, these nerves are starting to malfunction. They're be becoming virtually exhausted. It's heartbreaking for people to have believed that they conquered polio and then to have it come back. And many people have told me, you know, when I had polio, I had the opportunity to improve and get better and be done with it. And not that they didn't necessarily have any uh, disability after that, but they, they were they, they improved as much as they could and they were done. Post-polio syndrome is very different. Post-polio syndrome is you're diagnosed with it, it's gradually progressive, there is no being done with it. Dr. Julie Silver co-authored the book Polio Voices with historian Daniel Wilson, who today is suffering from post-polio syndrome. Uh, some people are not yet willing to admit that there, even people who had polio, that there's such a thing as post-polio syndrome. They're just, they're just aging and I suppose my retort to that, then why is my right leg so much weaker than my left leg? Um, if it's just aging, you know, you expect the legs to age together. Polio survivors put off going to the doctors, put off recognizing that, that post-polio was doing things to their body that they needed to slow up. I probably waited two years longer than I should have to get the scooter. I bought a station wagon in, in 2004 and in the anticipation of getting a scooter and couldn't bring myself to buy the scooter until about 2006. And that's a kind of fairly typical reaction. You don't want to admit that um, the gains that you had achieved in rehabilitation, you're losing. Jerry Silverman of Boston overcame polio as a child and went on to a successful career as a scientist for the United States Air Force. But even an educated Fulbright scholar like Jerry couldn't quite figure out what was happening to his body as he got older. Having polio just complicates the aging process. Not having aged without having polio, I can't sort of separate what is normal aging from what is my post-polio effects. But Jerry sought help early, and today is finding some relief from post-polio syndrome. Popular opinion says if you're weak, exercise more, build up your strength. 
But remember, post-polio syndrome affects not just the muscles, but also the nerves. If somebody has, is developing new weakness because their nerves that supply the muscles are starting to malfunction, then causing additional work, additional burden, additional abuse of those nerves is going to make them malfunction even more, so they'll get additional weakness. That means conventional wisdom about exercising is out of the question. For now, conservation and rest are the only known remedies. There are no cures. It is a flashback to the helpless days of their childhood. And as hundreds of thousands of polio survivors enter their golden years, they're left to wonder what else is in store for them and who their next champion will be in the absence of a figure like Roosevelt or an organization dedicated entirely to polio as the March of Dimes once was. And this was part of, I think, the ethos from Franklin Roosevelt and the March of Dimes that you were expected to get out there and be like everybody else. Like a lot of polio survivors, most of us um, tried to put it behind us as much as we could. We were told when we finished rehab, this was as bad as it was going to get. Nobody knew about post-polio syndrome at that point. The polio survivors themselves, the ones who are experiencing this overwhelming fatigue and muscle weakness and joint pain, had to advocate for themselves, created their own support groups. Um, and it, it, there was no money for research on post-polio sequela. Um, and, you know, it's the only group who has a medical condition that basically has had to take care of themselves. Earlier, we heard it said that the fight against polio was a mother's campaign, waged primarily through the March of Dimes. Now, it has become a grandmother's campaign. And don't forget about us grandfathers, too. For those of us over 60 who remember what polio was like, we owe it to future generations to make them aware of the ravages of polio, so that they'll do the most simple thing in the world, have their children vaccinated. Also, please don't forget the after effects of polio are still with us, as thousands of cases of post-polio syndrome are diagnosed each year. If you have had polio in the past and feel pain and weakness today, please don't just chalk it up to aging. Go see your doctor. There is help available. We need not be victimized by polio again. I'm Dr. Kevin Soden from Roosevelt's Little White House in Warm Springs, Georgia. Thanks for joining us.